Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for October 23rd through October 29th. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. Stopping now. I consider all the reversal, reversals when I'm doing the reading. So this is for Sagittarius. I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in pretty good. Basis of your reading is the High Priestess. Okay. This is, there's something mysterious going on. Perhaps there's a secret of some sort that's about to come out, but it's not really a secret because you know what it is. Okay. So this is telling me that you're, that you're thinking something and whatever that thought is, it's probably true. The answer is yes, your thoughts are correct. Okay, I just want to tell you that if you don't want to have another child, be very careful because you could get, you could have one this, get pregnant, somebody, I mean a male or a female, you could get somebody pregnant or somebody could get, or you could get pregnant, something like that. It's very fertile, it's a very fertile week where children definitely can come into play, okay? They are definitely part of your week and it could be a birth of some sort or, you know, a, a pregnancy at the beginning, all right? So just, you know. If you're looking to do that, this could be the week, all right? Um, let's see. I see that there's some changes on the horizon right off the bat. There is definitely some changes. Um, I think that uh, there's definitely some mysterious energy as well, you know? So there's something going on behind the scenes. It's like there's a sneakiness about it. There's a sneakiness about the week. There's something going on. Somebody's like trying to get away with something or being very uh, sneaky and just malicious, you know, and you know what it is. You know what it is. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. It's like there's something going on and it's it's like funky. It's like, I know you're up to something and that's what the how you're thinking. Somebody is up to something and you're absolutely right. Okay. Um, I do, it looks like... Uh, we're going to switch it up a little bit here. There's there's some there's some deceit, okay? And that's what it is. There is some, well, I guess we're not going to switch it up. There's some deceit, and it's causing some despair, okay? You know what is going on. Something is going on, and you know what it is. Um, it has to do with a relationship, I believe. It does. Um, I think you're not getting the love that you desire. All right, you're not. You're not getting the emotional support from somebody, which has caused the depression, but it's actually a blessing in disguise because the world is here. It wasn't meant to be, whatever it was. So this card is here to say, okay, you've learned a big lesson or you're still learning the lesson and it's time for it to end so that something new can begin. So it really is a blessing. When the world card comes out, it means you've, you've really learned something big. So if you haven't learned it yet, you're real close. You're real close because justice is right next to the world. It's where something becomes final. All right, you finally, something becomes final. So this week, something could finally be happening in your favor, okay, which makes you feel more secure and stable. No shit. And that could be like even if you are, um, you learn whatever this secret is it's going to make you more stable and secure somehow even if with yourself maybe it's because you decide that you're not going to uh, ignore a situation anymore because you have been so this is ignoring something pretending something isn't the case when you know deep down that it is that's the basis of your reading you know about something and you can't deny it anymore and it's time for the truth 
to come out, okay? The truth is going to come out probably this week, you know, and there may be some disagreements over the truth. Somebody might not be happy, and yeah, that's what I see. Somebody's probably not going to be happy. There could be a third-party situation that many of you are involved in. There may or may not be. Could be, it could have to do with children, all right? It definitely could have to do with children, this, whatever this secret is. It could have to do with children, but anyway, um... I do see that it brings a new security, all right, something on a physical level, so that's real good. Um, hmm. It does, I think, whatever happens is a blessing in disguise, all right? And I think that, <laughs> you guys, and I don't know if I've told you this before, but I feel an old soul. So I feel, whoever is watching this, there's somebody who watches these readings uh, a lot, my readings. I think I said it in the last one. There's an old soul that watches my readings. Maybe, probably many of you. But I feel it a lot. And I, I wanted to just tell you that again because I really feel it. Um, and I haven't said it for any other sign ever. Just yeah, I said it to you guys one other time and I just feel so strongly about it. But I feel like anyway that somebody's not getting the love that they're that they're hoping for, they, and they don't feel loved at all. So you might not feel loved at all, and that's causing a lot of sadness. Okay, it is. But trust me, when the world card comes out, something new and more wonderful is in front of you. Okay, and it's a rebirth. That's a rebirth as well. A rebirth where you start fresh. You start new, brand new. Yeah, I don't think you guys are feeling very loved. Um, and you, many of you are single on your own and, and doing it all by yourself, okay? And then we have, and you may feel like you are um, near death in the situation as far as being alone goes, you know? Just feel like I really need to get through this. And I, I, this, There's got to be more to life than this. There you are. There is more to life. Okay, so there is, and this is what the problem is. You're so hurt, it feels like you're never going to be loved, like you're never going to find that partner, the one, the one. That's what it feels like. But you are, okay? You are, because this tells me that you are. This period that you're going through is all happening for a reason. It's part of a lesson. And I say that because the world is here, and the world is a lesson. It's part of a lesson. Chalk it up to a lesson that you're learning during this time of independence, okay? Here we have stability, security, abundance, okay? And this is very motherly. So like I said, so if this is the earth mother, and this is the earth mother. There's, they're both considered the earth mother. And this is like a Taurus. So I'm just telling you that um, this has to do with, some. for some of you it has to do with children or it has to do with your mother, something. Either way, there's something going on, um, or it has to do with you wanting to be a mother, and or you wanting to be a parent because this is a man or, or a woman. So this is this tells me that that you could be feeling unloved and feel like time is wasting away because you want to be a, you want to have another child or you want to have a child or you want to be a parent. For many of you, okay, something like that. Um, but with the world card, a new chapter is beginning for you. It is. It is. Um, and this says for you not to quit. Don't give up. Don't lose your focus. You could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming into your life, by the way. Um, could be another um, Sagittarius or a Leo or an Aries. We do have Pisces up here. Um, I think it's a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I think. Could be another fire sign, but that's what I think is Taurus. That could be coming into your life, all right? I think it's a time of change for you. I think the um, stormy weather is just about over. I don't see it being over yet, but it's just about over. So, um, 
Let me get the next card. gonna go to the top one. Ooh, that looks like a good one. This is from Archangel Michael. Self-respect, my prayer. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. Oh my God, that's a great prayer. It really is. I'm going to read it one more time. Dear God and angels, Thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. That's a good one, isn't it? Oh, so Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for the week of the 23rd through the 29th of October. Talk to you later.